In this video, I'll show you some more advanced features that Max has dealing with logic. First of all, greater than or less than objects, these simple ones, can also work with floating point arguments. You just have to give them a floating point argument to start out. So notice this doesn't have an argument, and we worked in integers, but as long as I put in something with a point here after it, then I can get it to work. 5.5 .5 is greater than 5.2. Down here, there's an implemented way of essentially making a timer. So I have a toggle here that turns on a metro, which sends out a series of bangs, and this is every 250 milliseconds, into a counter, and we're counting them up. So we'll turn that on. So you can see that I have two equals objects down here, one that's looking for the number of the input to equal 1, and one that's looking for the input to equal 6. When the counter hits to 1, you see the toggle come on here, and when the counter hits 6, you see the toggle come on here. Then as soon as it goes to another integer, it turns off. So here we've created a bit of a rhythmic pattern. Over here I'm showing one way of dealing with this hot and cold inlet issue. So as I mentioned in the last video, if you send input into a cold inlet, it doesn't cause output. But that might not be practical for you if you need to know every time you get data from the right or the left inlet. So one way of dealing with that is adding a bang or a button here, which comes after this right operand inlet, so, or sorry, information, comes through here and actually goes and triggers that hot inlet, the one on the left. So you can see I have the same thing up here as I do right here. This one is the one that we introduced before, which is just a simple logical AND. If I turn this on and then I turn this on, I'm not getting the output that I expect because the cold inlet did not cause any output. I'd have to re-trigger this in order to see it work. However, in this example, if I turn this one on and then I turn this one on, it will cause the output that we expect, logical AND. These are both AND, we expect this to be on. The reason it does that is because I've added a bang here to show I got some data, I got some input, some change here, and now it's going through and triggering the operation to happen with a bang message right through here. So this is a really good way of dealing with that issue if you need to have output happen when you have your input on your cold inlet happen. And lastly, over here, if you wanted to compare more than one input, you can chain these objects together. So now this bottom toggle will only output a 1 if all of these at the top are turned on. So notice that I have added the bangs here this, so that no matter wh which toggle I'm clicking, I'll cause output. And it's the same thing, just chain together down, 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 until here. So I can turn them all on, and as soon as all of them are on, this comes on, but if one goes off, the bottom goes off as well.